Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today it's hosted by my boy John. So I don't know if you guys know John by from Fitted Racing. He actually works with me at the garage, our location. He does custom bag installs. He does custom lips, splitters, arrow, like all that stuff. He does a bunch of crazy things. And I asked him if he could help me install the bags while I was off my trip to Canada. <laughs> Some crazy stuff happened. Long story short, reason I went to Canada is so I can make things official with, um, my fiance now so uh crazy thing basically we've been talking for some time i had i basically already talked to her parents and all that stuff uh, for those of you guys who are muslim and all that stuff i, I kept it hella don't worry <laughs> so yeah we pretty much did everything the right way and then i went down to meet her parents talk to her parents and made things official so yeah i'm really happy this is a big step in my life i am very excited for the you know future steps in my life with her now and of course with you guys so anyways that's what happened in canada very exciting stuff for me i hope you guys um understand why the last week i haven't re replied to y'all or anything like that if you guys want to see uh you know pretty much a quick, some pictures of what happened on the trip um then check out my instagram down below i know it's super random super off topic but that's where i was off in a trip trying to meet her and her family so that was a dream come true and without further ado uh speaking of another dream that came true <laughs> car related because i know you guys are you know into cars and stuff specifically bmw's john my boy from fitted racing went ahead recorded the whole process for you guys in two parts so i hope you guys enjoy this video let's get right into it yeah I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you what is going on guys my name is John I'm here with fitted racing I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install an airbag kit on this 435i just a quick note on what it looks like look at this wheel gap this is no bueno I mean the, the rear is not that bad but the front it's like a three to four finger depending on your hand. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install this air suspension kit. It does come with instructions. It's basically dummy proof, so anybody can do it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first step is gonna be to put the car up on jack stands, take the wheels off, and start taking the front struts and rear shocks off. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so now that the car is up on jack stands, you're gonna wanna do the uh, shake test. Make sure that the car is not gonna fall on your face. After that, you're gonna want to come to the back of the car and disconnect the battery so we won't short anything out. And then we'll start taking off the wheels and then the struts. All right, so here we got a little 10 mil. What you're gonna wanna do is take off the negative terminal just a precaution you don't want to short out anything that's a precaution and you're gonna have the trunk open you're gonna have the the doors open if you if you're running the, the lines through inside the car so you don't want to kill the battery so disconnect the battery Who torqued these down? Holy crap. That's on three. 1,900 foot-pounds of torque. Jesus. Uh, somebody torqued those down way too much. Oh my. So now that we got all the wheels off, we're gonna come up to the front over here. We're gonna start with the front strut. I'm gonna go ahead and take off all these plastics and rubbers out of the way. These uh, hoses, I'm gonna move them out of the way as well. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the uh, sway bar end link and this bolt off. And then there's three bolts up here. The front strut should be able to come out easily. So let's go ahead and do that first. It's the sway bar end link. We're gonna go ahead and take this nut off. Okay, now that we got the whole entire strut out, so it's a bit of a pain. We did, I did have to take off this arm that goes down here. Let's put it there, just so this won't be all flopping around. Lines are still loose, they're not gonna be ripped. I do have to go ahead and take the sway bar end link out because the kit does come with a sway bar end link replacement. So let's go ahead and take that sway bar end link out and then continue installing the new air suspension. All right, so I finally got the old sway bar end link off. Put the new one here. It's just resting for now. We're gonna leave that there. The uh, 
socket that I used was a 16 mil. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the airlift strut that is over here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the airlift strut and repeat that process just backwards. So for this, we're gonna get the uh, jack. We're gonna put it under the control arm and just jack it up until it goes into the spot. Okay, so now that I have the front strut all the way on, tightened, everything is on. The bolt is on, the sway bar end link is on, it's tightened down. As you can see here, these, uh, these bolts over here are tightened down as well. All that is good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the rear as well. So for the rear, I'm gonna take this bolt off, then take off the sh bottom shock bolt off. This will come down a little bit. It's not it's not too spring loaded. And then I should be able to get the spring out. And then there's three bolts up here for the rear shock mount. Everything should be able to come out fairly easily. So let's go ahead and do that. Just like that, the shock and the spring is ready to come out. All you have to do is push this down, get the shock out. Careful not to scratch your paint or break anything in the process. Yep, it's stuck. We're stuck here. Speed, kick this thing out. Make yourself enough room to pull this out. Just like that, the shock is out. The spring is next. And we're good. The kit does require you to take this bolt off just so you can put a little spacer in between here. So that's next. And then we repeat the process backwards just put the, the airbag in and the uh, new shock in as well and right here is the spacer I'm talking about so for this bolt uh, the socket that I'm gonna use is a size 18 it comes off really easy you don't even have to take it out you just slide the spacer in here on the inside and put it back in and that's it and then torque it down to spec Okay, and the kit does come with this instruction manual. It's really nicely written with colored pictures. So we're just gonna follow these instructions and install the airbags. So, so everything is out of the car. We do have to take the mount off, just like the instruction says. We put that spacer in. I know I skipped a step, but whatever. After I put the, the mount on the new shock, I can go ahead and install the airbag as well. Okay, so now that we have the shock all ready, we're gonna put that down. The airbag kit does come with these components here. These components here. We're gonna put that to the side for now and we're only gonna focus on this part. So this fitting goes here, but enable, for us to be able to do that, we're gonna have to take this off first. So that's a size 14 mil as well. So the kit says to hand tighten this down. First, it says to put some thread sealant or um, Teflon tape. We put tep uh, thread sealant. It says hand tight. After hand tight, it says to do one and three quarter turns. And you should be good. So after that, we're going to go ahead and put everything back on. And then we'll put it back in on the car. So now we are ready to go back in the car. The kit says that we need these four items. Back to that uh, driver's side corner and install everything back on. Okay, and just like that, we are done with this corner. The next step would be to run the lines for the air system and the management. Quick note, you do want to put a jack under here when putting this bolt and a nylon thingy down there because it was a pain in the butt. So there we go, everything's good. The kit does say to cycle 
the rear airbag make sure nothing gets in the way of this fitting here and yeah you're good to go okay so now that everything is back on everything is torqued down to spec the bag is installed the shock is back on the rear shock mount is on so you guys saw john did a great video recording every bit of detail the next video is gonna be like the bags my reaction all that stuff like fully on the ground and all that good stuff so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash the like button check out john down below and check out his instagram for inquiries and anything like that if you guys want to get some work done on your cars check him out and just let him know that you know you came from my channel and i'm sure he'll hook you guys up anyways i love y'all so much so yeah shout out to john um without further ado guys i'll catch you guys in the next one when the car is fully put together you guys will see part two and then hopefully you guys will see pretty much what i've been doing the last week in the, the video after that so i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i see you guys in the next one peace out yeah stay humble love y'all yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have worth.